just about every night. And this is the second semi-final of the men's 1500 meters T54. And again, some excellent names in this, including Marcel Hoog, who at the moment has got three gold medals this week. Raymond Martin, four, and Tatiana McFadden, five. Alexandre Dupont of Canada. 304 is personal best, and he might need it. Alongside Richard Coleman won the gold in the 800 in London. Two golds there. Ekachai Yanton of Thailand alongside Josh Cassidy, the London Marathon winner and who has been a good performer all week. Brian Seaman of the United States alongside, again, he's a 304 man. Kim Gudai won bronze in this in 2012 and denied hook the gold in the 800. The only man to have what you might euphemistically call bragging rights over this man this week. Marcel Hook, gold, 10,000, gold, 400, gold, 5,000, silver in the 800. And silver in this in 2012, and silver in the marathon and the 800 as well. He holds the world record, the championship record went a few moments ago. Hook also a silver medalist in this in 2011. Rio 2.34, the cutoff time for the fastest losers. In this second semi-final, Alexandre Dupont of Canada, Richard Coleman of Australia, Janton of Thailand, Josh Cassidy of Canada, Brian Seaman of the USA, Kim Gudai of Korea, and Marcel Hoog of Switzerland. And Hoog, the silver bullet, the silver helmet, crouched down and in the lead already in this opening lap. Yeah, Marcel Hoog looking very, very comfortable, went straight through into the lead there with the silver helmet on, and he's just leading him away. It's going to be very, very fast, this one. He's coming past us now after one lap, and he's doing very well indeed, is the silver bullet ahead of Kim. And uh, Josh Cassidy back in fourth place at the moment, looking poised to strike at any point. But uh, they're nicely spaced out, and Marcel Hoog leading them down the back straight. Hook is in the lead, and now he'll just move aside for the time being. Kim Goodai takes the advantage, and then this Canadian, second and third, Alexandre Dupont in second. Josh Cassidy very easy to pick out in third place with the psychedelic wheels. Slight move back at the moment for Marcel Hook. Yanton is also trying to make a mark for himself here, but there's a nice bit of speed down this home straight. Kim Gudai, bronze medalist 2012, in the lead, and he won the 800 here. Dupont in second, Cassidy in third. For Thailand, it's Yanton now in fourth place. And the American, Brian Seaman, is trying to make an impact too. They've got less than two laps to go, that's 700 meters. And Marcel Hoog, who uh, led them out just to get the pace up, has dropped right back to sixth place at the moment. Kim just allowing Dupont to come alongside. Cassidy up there as well. Kim just moving out, so uh, Dupont will lead the round. Then it's Cassidy and Marcel Hook still second last at the moment. Dupont bringing the round. King that is on the outside, just in case there needs to be anything that uh, he needs to monitor. And now Marcel Hook moves up round the outside. So it's uh, Kim now taking the lead, ahead of Dupont, then Cassidy and Marcel Hook poised to strike as they come up to the bell. The real race starts now, here's the bell, it's Kim who leads, it's Cassidy who crosses the line second, but Hook was on his shoulder in third place. He'll make his move now, it's Jansson in fourth for Thailand, and on the outside for Australia, Richard Coleman. He's making a good move too, and it's these five who'll try and divide up the top three places and see where they go from here. It's Kim who still leads, Cassidy, Hook is in third place, but now he'll start moving out on the outside. He'll go out to lane two and even further if he needs to. But it's still Kim Gudai who leads for Korea. Hook now makes his move on the outside as you'd expect. Cassidy back in the third place. Hook goes for it now. This is where he wants to be. Every semi-final he wants to win, and he'll win this one. And that's a little bit of revenge for losing the gold the other night to the man who finishes second here, Kim Gudai. It's a championship record for Marcel Hoog, and Kim Gudai is second. Cassidy was up there too, and that new record of Rawatano, well, the old one was untouched 
for 11 years and the new one barely lasted 11 minutes. 2.59.96 is the first time that this record goes under three minutes and it's Marcel Hook who does it. And it was a real battle from Coleman coming up to challenge Cassidy for that third place and I'm not sure who's got it and nor are the judges at the moment because they're only announcing the first two but Coleman came storming up to challenge Cassidy for that uh, third place. They've given it to Coleman. There was a nice subtle little look at each other as well and Kim knows in this final who wants to be the boss. Coleman did indeed get the third place but they were all well inside the old championship record so I reckon Cassidy and Janton will definitely get through for certain. And Coleman is through as an automatic qualifier. Well, I was impressed by Marcel Hook. A little flexing of a muscle almost. His stature increases even.